With the new consoles finally here, it's time to look forward to some of the biggest single player releases for 2021 and beyond. Which titles are we most hyped about and how will they stand out? Here are 30 that are worth keeping an eye on. Before we go ahead, please consider subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos every single day and your support really helps us out. With that out of the way, let's start. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 Set in the macabre world of darkness, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 starts after a mass embrace, aka vampires openly attacking and converting humans in full public view. With the masquerade broken, you play as a new thin blood vampire who must choose a side. Pick a discipline, whether it's levitating objects or mistransformation, then ally with a vampire clan for even more perks. From there, you can explore the world and take on side quests while feeding on the populace. Several delays later, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 is set to release this year for Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, PS5, and PC. God of War 2 Ragnarok Aside from confirmation that Ragnarok is indeed coming, we've seen nothing from the next God of War. If Sony Santa Monica's 2018 classic taught us anything though, it's to expect a massive epic adventure with emotional moments, intense action, and a potential showdown with Thor. It's certainly slated to release in 2021 for PS5. Horizon Forbidden West on the other hand is Horizon Forbidden West, which has Aloy venturing to a new region set in the ruins of California and the frontier to prevent the world's destruction. Along with new machines and warring tribes, she'll contend with dangerous storms and underwater dangers. Releasing for PS4 and PS5 later this year, Horizon Forbidden West has looked phenomenal in all of its footage and screenshots thus far. Fable After years of rumors, Forza Horizon developer Playground Games finally confirmed what we all knew, Fable is making its long-awaited return. Not much is known, save for it being an open-world RPG, with the studio hiring 177 developers to facilitate development. Given how the franchise fizzled out with later entries, we're eager to see how this revival fares when it releases for Xbox Series X and S and PC. Final Fantasy XVI a new mainline Final Fantasy title with the last remnant director Hiroshi Takai leading the development, and that's without taking the incredible visuals, fun-looking combat, and masterful score into consideration. As an exclusive to PS5 at launch, Final Fantasy XVI already looks more polished and refined than recent solo entries. Here's hoping it actually releases this year. Project Athea Mysterious is one way to describe Project Athea. As an open world title from Luminous Productions, which previously worked on Final Fantasy XV, the story concerns a person transported to a world that's not her own. The truths will be questioned and devotions doubted, whatever that means. Sony saw enough potential in the game to have it as a PS5 exclusive for 24 months, and that's reason enough to get hyped. Perfect Dark Much like Playground Games and Fable, Months of rumors about the initiative working on a new Perfect Dark culminated in confirmation that it was indeed working on a new Perfect Dark. Nevertheless, we're intrigued by the reboot nature of the project set in a near future world with a returning Joanna Dark, even if gameplay has yet to be revealed. Perfect Dark is currently slated for Xbox Series X and S and PC. Mass Effect 4 Speaking of returns, BioWare's Mass Effect franchise is finally getting resurrected. The first trailer for the new sequel hints at taking place after Mass Effect 3, with the remnants of a Reaper and Liara to Sony seemingly making an appearance. Do we dare hope for Commander Shepard to make a comeback? It may be a long time before we really know, but the wait should be worth it. Resident Evil Village Capcom's next Resident Evil continues the series' first-person romp through horror, this time with vampires, werewolves, larger-than-life characters, and a bigger scale. Nevertheless, even with more gunplay, the methodical pacing and exploration still seem to be intact. Resident Evil Village is out for May 7th for Xbox Series X and S, PS5, PS4, PC, and Xbox One. Far Cry 6 
The Far Cry franchise has gone international once again with Far Cry 6 taking place in Yara, ruled by the dictator Anton Castillo, played by Breaking Bad's Giancarlo Esposito. As Danny Rojas, a guerrilla fighter rebelling against Castillo, the player raises hell across Yara. Along with more expansive environments, Far Cry 6 will feature custom weapons and vehicles along with new fangs for higher or amigos. It's currently in development for Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, PS5, Google Stadia and PC with a rumored release date of May 25th. Metroid Prime 4 one of the most feverishly requested sequels in a franchise ever, Metroid Prime 4 is in an interesting place these days. Announced at E3 2017, the project was subsequently rebooted in January 2019 with Retro Studios now at the helm. Producer Kensuke Tanabe is still on board and it's still coming to Switch, but we've heard nothing else since then. Regardless, this is a new Metroid Prime and that's more than enough reason to get excited. Shin Megami Tensei 5 over the years, Atlas's Persona franchise has hogged the proverbial demonic spotlight. Shin Megami Tensei 5 looks to address this, utilizing Unreal Engine 4 for crisp visuals while being set in modern day Tokyo. Demon Fusion is still a thing along with the ability to raise them, but will the Switch exclusive truly release this year? Time will certainly tell. Halo Infinite Let's not mince words. The initial gameplay reveal of Halo Infinite was disappointing. Nevertheless, 343 Industries has been working hard to improve it, delaying the game to fall 2021 and promoting Joseph Staten as creative director. We've seen new details on the vehicles, armor coatings, and visual improvements. With the title apparently being content complete and polishing underway, all that's left is to see how it looks now. Halo Infinite is currently slated for Xbox Series X and S, PC, and yes, even Xbox One. Tales of Arise The premise for Tales of Arise seemed simple enough. Alpha and Abdana traveling to Shion of Reyna with their respective worlds being at odds. Despite the linear motion battle system being intact, Bandai Namco seeks to revamp the Tales formula using Unreal Engine 4 and higher production values for its gameplay. Though originally set to release last year, Tales of Arise was delayed to an unspecified date. More details are expected to be revealed on its status in the coming months. Stalker 2 Over a decade since the Call of Pripyat released, players will return to the Chernobyl exclusion zone in Stalker 2, boasting cutting-edge visuals and a large open world, which developer GSC Game World touts as the biggest to date, you'll still encounter strange artifacts and anomalies along with deadly mutants. Launching for PC and Xbox Series X and S, Stalker 2 is definitely looking like a dark horse. Ghostwire Tokyo About 95% of Tokyo's population has disappeared and creepy spirits called visitors stalk the city. Who are you going to call? In Ghostwire Tokyo, the answer is you. The player character possesses special abilities to take down the visitors, mixing hand movements and executions to devastating effect. Ghostwire Tokyo is currently set to release in October 2021 and will be coming to PS5 and PC first. Dying Light 2 Though it retains the original's open-world elements and parkour-focused movement, Dying Light 2 promised a much larger scale where one's decisions would shape the city. Entire areas could open up depending on the same, but the consequences with rival gangs moving in could also be severe. Despite little to no information over the past year and an indefinite delay, Dying Light 2 still sounds appealing. It's in development for Xbox One, PS4 and PC, along with Xbox Series X and S and PS5. Biomutant Years after its initial announcement and numerous delays, Experiment 101's action RPG finally has a release date of May 25th for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Biomutant is the story of the Tree of Life, which has been polluted. Saving it means contacting the six tribes inhabiting the post-apocalyptic world, but each has their own agenda. Along with extensive customization, crafting, and a karma system, players will fight with both melee and ranged moves, augmenting themselves with biomechanical parts and mutations to ultimately determine the world's fate. Suicide Squad – Kill the Justice League Set after the events of Batman Arkham Knight, Suicide Squad – Kill the Justice League sees Harley Quinn, King Shark, Captain Boomerang, and Deadshot dealing with Brainiac, who's wreaking havoc and mind-controlling Superman. 
Even if a co-op doesn't interest you, it's possible to play the game solo and switch between each character while the AI handles the rest. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is currently slated for release in 2022 for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. Gotham Knights Meanwhile, on the other side of the Batman is for dead for real fence, we have the Batman family being playable in Gotham Knights. Batgirl, Robin, Nightwing, and Red Hood each provide their own unique abilities, gear and progression, and along with gliding and grappling, players can also utilize bat cycles for getting around. Drop in and drop out co-op for two players is supported, but the full game can still be enjoyed solo. Gotham Knights is currently planned to release this year on PS4, Xbox Series X and S, PS5, PC, and Xbox One. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 Following up on one of the highest rated games of all time is no easy feat, especially if it's The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Nintendo has been rather coy after the initial teaser, with producer Eiji Inuma noting that the sequel would build on the first game's world. With the lack of gameplay or concrete details, we're on tender hooks for any new details to drop, and maybe confirming at last that Zelda is playable. Gran Turismo 7 Promising to return to the full-scale experience of previous Gran Turismo titles, Gran Turismo 7 already looks very good, and reportedly runs at 4K 60fps with support for ray tracing. If that weren't enough, features like Driving School, GT Auto, Special Events and more will be returning alongside GT Sport Mode, Discover, and Brand Central. As a combination of old and new GT, Gran Turismo 7 could be the series' best yet. It's currently slated to release this year for PS5. Dragon Age 4 After apparently being rebooted and Bioware general manager Casey Hudson and executive producer Mark Dara departing, Dragon Age 4 is looking a bit shaky. Nevertheless, it's hard not to be swayed by its promise. Set in Taventer, a majocracy whose magnificent sights belay a nation in decline, the sequel also sees the return of the enigmatic Dreadwolf. A release date and platforms are yet to be announced, but it seems a given that Dragon Age 4 will be coming to the Xbox Series X and S, PS5, and PC. Elden Ring From Software's Hidetaka Miyazaki teams with Game of Thrones writer George R.R. R. Martin for this enigmatic dark fantasy action RPG. Though Elden Ring has been conspicuously absent since its initial reveal, everything we've heard thus far, an open world with several dungeons, horseback combat, etc., seems incredible. All we need now is more details and a proper gameplay trailer. The Elder Scrolls VI On that topic, it's been almost three years since Bethesda first announced The Elder Scrolls VI. Very little is known about it, like the setting. Still, even with Bethesda now being owned by Microsoft and concerns over Xbox exclusivity, which has yet to be confirmed, The Elder Scrolls VI should absolutely dwarf its predecessors in terms of size and scale. Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart the iconic duo are back at it again, this time traveling through several different dimensions to stop Dr. Nefarious's latest scheme. The series' trademark shooting and platforming look better than ever, and the addition of rifts for movement look promising. Of course, there's also the traveling through various worlds and time periods, with the PS5's SSD seemingly transitioning between them. Look for Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart to release in Q1 or Q2 of this year. Kenna Bridge of Spirits Ember Lab's unassuming action-adventure is all about Kenna, a spirit guide who ventures to a new place and helps its spirits to move on. Along with using a staff that can transform into a spirit bow, Kenna can also enlist spirits called the Rot to help in battle and solve puzzles. The gorgeous aesthetic and world design, inspired by locations like Japan, help Kenna Bridge of Spirits stand out en route to its release in March for PS4, PS5, and PC. Senua Saga Hellblade 2 Several years after Ninja Theory's critically acclaimed action-adventure, Senua returns. As usual, not much has been revealed about the sequel, save for it being twice as big as the original game and being developed on the Unreal Engine 5. But Senua is back and seemingly leading her own army, perhaps in a bid for revenge against the Norsemen from the previous game. What more could you want? Atomic Heart Munfish's upcoming title mixes first-person action and RPG mechanics. 
It's set in an alternate reality Soviet Union in 1955 as a special KBG agent ventures to a government facility after the robots go berserk. Utilizing Unreal Engine 4 and ray tracing, Atomic Heart sports bizarre foes and occurrences to go with its crafting and visceral combat. It's currently set to release this year for PC, Xbox One, PS4, PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S. Starfield Touted as the first new IP from Bethesda Game Studios in the last 25 years, Starfield is an RPG set in Starfield is an RPG set in space. It's been in development since Fallout 4 wrapped, and the developer's engine has been rewritten significantly to accommodate several new systems. That's more or less it, sadly, but at least we know that it's currently planned to release before The Elder Scrolls 6. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. Have anything to say? Let us know in the comments below. Also, we upload new videos every single day on Gaming Bolt, so please consider subscribing as it really helps us out. Thanks for watching.